Hello everybody and welcome to another canning video. Okay, in this one we are canning kale. As you can see, I'm tossing the kale into the sink. There was some vinegar in there. I want to make sure it's clean. As everybody knows, I grow the, um, it's referred to as dinosaur kale. I can never, never remember what it's actually called. Anyway, you can see <laughs> I'm like pounding it into the sink because I want to get as much in there as I can because I, yeah, there was a lot. I had, I did end up by having to do it in two batches, but it was okay. I remember getting it all cleaned and stripping it. The stripping part, which you're going to see here in a second, took three hours. <laughs> Start to finish, this was an entire day of canning. It blew my mind because you've got to get rid of all the stems in order for this to can right. Now, I am canning this out of the um, Bernard and Complete Book of Home Preserving. It's on page 389 for my fellow Canadians. And it's under leafy greens. Now you want to make sure it's washed. You know, you, you do all this preparation is to wash the greens thoroughly, which I have done. You're seeing here, like I'm stripping them now. Um, trim, disregard any large tough stems. Now, I don't know about the other kale. It might not have as big or thick and juicy stems as the dinosaur kale does. It has very large stems on it. So you, you need to remove those. Now, as you can see, I'm filling the stock pot with water. I did this again in steps because this is not even all of it. I did it in steps in order to get it filled. Now, I just skipped over the putting it on the stove to boil it part, guys. We are just going from, you're seeing me fill the pot of water, and I kept this running so this way I could talk, to filling the jars. Now, you want to blanch these for three to five minutes, and then you cut them on a cutting board. This is what it says to do. I didn't, because um, I ripped it as I was cleaning it, or not, yeah, I ripped it as I was stripping it. So as you can see here, I wish I would have filled these jars a lot more than what I did. That is my only regret with this. You're going to see here in a second that um, oh, apparently I did it. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, it's all right. Um, okay, so I'm filling them, and I thought I filled them good. So you can see I'm, I'm punching it down as I'm feeling it, and I'm using my tongs so I can get it out. You can see I'm packing it in there. Like it is, I am packing it in there. And then I fill it up with water. I'm using the cooking water. You're probably not supposed to do that. I always do that. Oh, look, I remember there's a light there. Now, okay, you're going to see when I pull these out of the canner why I wish I would have really punched this down. You're going to see why once this is pulled out of the canner. Okay, so this cans for, because I did it in quarts, for 90 minutes at your altitude. And did I put salt? I don't think I put salt in. Salt is optional. I think, yeah, no, I'm sitting here reading it. I don't see anything about salt. But yeah, yeah. I got four jars in total. Four jars, guys. <laughs> You're going to see why I'm telling you, pack them. Pack them good. As you see how I'm packing them in, it is not, it, it's not enough. And I don't regret doing this. I do not. If I end up with enough kale again, I'll probably end up by canning these again this year. But knowing what I know now. Here we go. Getting it nice and filled. And this is where I think I switch over. I put some water. I'm putting some water in. 
Oh, I did put salt in. Okay, yes, I did put salt in. So I would have put in a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of salt. That doesn't look like an inch, but it was an inch. See, that's what I hate about the camera angles. Okay, but anyway, so now we're pulling them out of the canner. I'm sliding it so I can actually get it out. You notice how I lift it? People keep asking me about my glass stove top. Still love it. Do you see all of that extra room? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, each one of those jars now has half a jar. Like it had half a jar of, um, of kale in it in the end. It was okay. But there's a pound in each jar. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you again really soon. Bye.